welcome. Today is August、uh, 17th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I will commend my spirit guides and holy angels in the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and burn some sage to cleanse、uh, the energy from the space that I'll be working in. And also the energies from the decks I'll be using in today's general reading. I hope everyone is doing well and hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Guys, I ain't gonna lie, my weekend was short. And、um, I was fatigued, and I don't know if it's my allergies, but my allergies、um, was making it difficult for me. To even want to do anything. So, all I could ever think of was to sit still. And it could be because it was like 100 degrees here、uh, in where I'm living. Luckily, I do have an、uh, air conditioner, but I feel like it wasn't enough. I felt strange. So, I hope everyone、um, survived throughout the weekend. There's a few announcements that I wanted、uh, to share with you. Okay, first off,、uh, tomorrow is the、um, full moon or the new moon. And so, guys, if you haven't already, you know, go ahead and take a look at my website、uh, for these lovely bath bombs, okay?、Um, and see if you can order some before <clears throat> the, the new moon.、Um, I should be coming out with something new.、Um, But I'm gonna test it out because I'm gonna make a batch tomorrow night. Okay? It's especially、uh, made for Charlotte,、um, who was、uh, you know, so generously to give me、um, some rosemary and cedar. And、uh, with that, guys, I made these lovely、uh, sage wands. Isn't it beautiful? So, if you're following me on Instagram,、uh, you kind of saw that I went out to the local farmer's market and got、uh, fresh flowers.、Um, and I got sage、uh, locally here. But what、uh, um, Charlotte had sent me was、uh, this cedar, okay, and rosemary that she was growing、um, in her area. And so, guys, you know. If you had to purchase、uh, these wands for me in the past,、uh, they were actually a little bit more thinner.、Um, these are bigger, okay? If you can see, like my hand and the size of this thing, it's a little bit fatter and a little bit thicker, okay? And I'll share with you a few others that I have made, okay?、Uh, this one has a dahlia flower at the top. Okay, with some berries at the bottom. Isn't that cute? And each of these c o m e with a charm. And this one has an elephant. I don't know if you guys can see. So I have these I made from yesterday. So, guys,、uh, they're, they're ready for, for purchase if you go to my website. So, you know, go ahead and check it out. Now, there's two differences. Uh, differences between the wands.、Uh, the, the smaller variety is possibly something like this. Okay, now even though this looks、uh, longer,、um, you know, it is what it is, guys. Okay. <laughs> the only difference with, with the $8 version, okay, and the $10 version is that the $10 version has a flower, you know, exposed at the top. 
okay and the eight dollar version okay is wrapped just like this okay so um it's really up to you now um, not all of these are going to look like this because as you can see i only have like one two three three of this so if you purchase the eight dollar version um it might not look like this okay it could be mixed in with other flowers it could be pink flowers it could be whatever uh, other flowers um hold on one second okay i had to pull some from where i was drying them so this is what the eight dollar version will look like so as you can see it's much longer it's almost like this size of my freaking forearm guys like do you see that like it, it's long <laughs> so um these are actually much bigger um and this one right here like i said um this one has like a pink uh, flower on it okay um you know, so and also has like different uh, floral varieties uh, mixed inside uh, this particular wand. Okay, so this is a the eight dollar version. And guys, check this out. Okay, it's the size of my freaking um, forearm. Okay, it's it's huge. Okay, whereas this one, okay, is possibly. I mean, I mean it fits, but you know, it, it's a little bit shorter but it's a little bit uh, fatter from what I can feel, okay? Um, and it has like a nice little uh, flower topping, okay? But all of these are, are actually really big, so they, they vary in size. So that's the only difference between the $10 one and the $8 version, okay? So guys, go ahead and um, get your wand today okay and cedar uh has um some um protection properties okay to clear your energy from your space okay and um ward off negative energies okay all the bad stuff if you know what i mean <laughs> all right so uh let me go ahead and clear my space and let's get started so guys, you know, I decided to uh, burn the cedar. It has um, a nice uh, piney smell. <laughs> I like it. Um, I like how trees smell. So, I mean, maybe it's because of me. But um, it actually smells really good. Uh, I was just testing it um, to see, like, how it burns. Because it's still... Um, you know, dry, I mean, not dry, but still wet, okay, it's still kind of fresh, um, and so this is cedar, and, um, yeah, guys, it smells good, so I'm excited for you guys, okay, so definitely, if you, uh, make a purchase on any of the, the, the new batch, okay, that I'll be making around this time, definitely, um, you know, send me your review, okay, so, let me go ahead and clear my energy. Dear Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current overall energies of our masculines and feminines. And what is their energy towards each other? What is the current overall energy, please, Spirit, of our divine masculines and divine feminines? And what is their energies towards each other? What is their current overall energies? Thank you. So, masculines, we have beauty and the beast. Your person might not look different. 
than what you have always imagined. Remember to pay attention to how someone makes you feel and what they spark inside of you. What is external does not always reflect what I internal look for in the hidden treasures. Wow. Guys, this is beautiful. So masculine is really, you know, trying to use their discernment and feel, okay? Not really pay attention to the looks, but, you know, how do, how do they feel when it comes to you? That's what I'm feeling, guys. And towards you, wow, oh my God, we have unique balance. There will be a display of a non-traditional balance between two people where one feels submissive and the other as dominant. Wow. And do you see this? Uh, this masculine is holding the head of this feminine and um, he is actually playing uh, the feminine as a violin and as he is, you know, uh, using, uh, you know, the rod to play music with the feminine, he's making marks on her back. Oh my god, like, what kind of fetish is your masculine into, feminine? Oh my god. A special unique balance of give and take and trust with another to be able to explore each other and be completely open and bare in a way that serves both the mind, body, and soul. Guys, that is beautiful. That's what I'm seeing. Wow. This masculine is ready to really test the waters with you. You guys have a unique balance. I feel like only you and your masculine can play off of each other's energies in this way, where masculine is more uh, the dominant person and feminine. You're submissive, from what I can feel. And masculines really see that there is a, a difference between you two. One of them, okay, is like this dark beast. And uh, feminine, you are a beauty, okay? And um, both you guys feel a certain way towards each other because both you guys come from different worlds. That's the feeling you're getting. Like, you know, there's some sort of difference between you two. And that's how you guys make beautiful music. Wow. It's actually kind of dark and beautiful. So, feminines. <gasps> We have a feather, guys. You know, <laughs> before I started this video, okay, I was cleaning off my table and I was using this white feather. I kid you not, guys. You guys didn't see it, but, you know, I put the camera on pause to use this feather to clear off um, this desk, right? Guys, this is so freaking weird. Every time I pull cards, there's always something that I've touched or, um, or, you know, like had come across, you know, and it comes out in the reading. I kid you not. You know, feminines, I feel that um, there is uh, angelic guidance that is surrounding you, okay? You're being divinely protected um, by the angels. And I really feel like um, you are now entering into some sort of light where you can start to see something. Guys, you know, that was another thing. I don't know if you guys watch my video about the psychokinesis or telekinesis uh, experiment I did with the piece of paper, right? So basically, it's just this piece of paper that I folded. Okay, you guys can see this, right? It's just a, a, a plain piece of paper, okay, and I I folded it into like this uh, star shape and then um, I placed it on top of this needle okay Let's see just a needle and I I just put it up here okay and uh, you know by me concentrating on this piece of paper I was able to make it rotate right and so um, I'm not sure if I can get it to go here. Let's 
But guys, I was able to, to make this thing twirl around. Now, obviously, I'm holding it midair. Um, and yes, um, in the video, I had it placed on my little donut. And so I was like, well, there's a string down there. No, there's no fucking string, okay? Like, I am just that good, guys. <laughs> but anyways, um, the reason why I brought this up was because of the next object that I was going to test is to levitate like a feather. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do it in, in this reading, okay, guys? I'm going to practice. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like, you know, spirit, okay, is with us. Okay, feminines. And uh, if you're seeing the signs and uh, you come across a, a feather, okay, a white one even, just know that, uh, just look for any kind of guidance uh, from the angels, okay? Now, before I did this reading, I was using this. I, I haven't touched this feather in a while, okay? Um, and it's so strange that it's actually showing up in this reading, guys. I kid you not. That is so freaky. Holy shit. So, let's see. Towards the masculine... We have new beginnings. Wow. Something is about to change, good or bad. Something is coming. This card can also reflect an intention that was cast to bring forth something into existence. Birth of something, carrying something, something coming to life, change in relationship, something coming to light, a new feeling that has sparked and stirred feelings. There is a new beginning here uh, that I feel that is coming from the feminines towards the masculines. You know, it could be good or bad news, okay? Um, but whatever this is, this is, uh, you know, the start to a new beginning. Whatever the case is, and you're being divinely protected and guided by the angels. Just know that, okay, feminines? Masculines, uh, they're finding this unique balance when it comes to you. Uh, I feel like uh, this uh, masculine collective, they're more uh, of a dom, okay, than a sub. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. And, um, you know, they really see you as this beauty, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Spirit, what is the underlying energy with this collective? What is currently going on subconsciously with this divine masculine and divine feminine? And guys, I just remembered uh, last week's reading. I think it was on Friday. Um, the audio is low. So I'll try to make sure that the audio is ramped up. Because if you guys didn't know, um, I do post-production. <laughs> I actually modify and amplify my voice to make it louder so you guys can hear me because what you heard from last week, that is my natural voice. That is how loud it actually is. And um, I wish my, my voice was loud like, uh, like all the other readers because uh, I wouldn't have to do the extra time to take it into post and to an audio editing program to ramp up my voice, okay, because uh, uploading videos would be so much faster, but that's not the case for me. I actually have to do a lot when I produce a video every day. It takes me three hours, okay, to make a video each day for all of you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, okay, so if you're saying, I can't hear you, well, it's up shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, get your message in the next room. Because if you could hear me in that particular video, I, I was giving out uh, lotto numbers, okay? Now, somebody did message me that they won $500 from a scratch ticket. So congratulations to that person who uh, went to the store and got them a scratch ticket because they, they got um, a little chunk of change, okay? So... <laughs> Wow, masculines very soon. Okay, they're going to clearly decide what it is that they want, so it comes to them now. 
they're finally uh, coming to realize that you know they need to look past uh, the superficial uh, differences between you two and know what's going on deep down inside because I feel like this masculine can feel you feminines and it's undeniable that they feel totally connected with you and I really feel like this masculine very soon will, will come from the dark into the light okay and they could be sending you a message in the physical now uh towards you feminine we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so i really feel like this is the unique balance that this masculine was looking for they're looking to forgive for what they have done and you know they could have been really controlling of the situation possibly almost a little manipulative do you see that this masculine has their hand on the back of this feminine's head and this feminine is praying towards the masculine and i really feel like it's for forgiveness okay and you guys are learning because i feel like it's uh, spiritually guided right and get this okay spirit is with the feminines okay uh you guys are being protected this is um you know an energy that is coming from uh, the from source from universe right and because of that there is a unique balance between you two do you see the similarities in those two different cards you know um that's what I'm seeing, guys. Wow. Whoever created this deck, they they like them a little bit of pain because I can I can totally see like <laughs> how this artist really is, okay? I I see it. I see it. <laughs> so feminines. You deserve love and get this. That's Cupid that is uh hitting their arrow at you. Because why? You are lovable and hence the reason why there's a new beginning. Why? Because there is an unrequited love situation between you and your masculine. Now, I've been pulling this unrequited love for the feminines towards the masculines for the past couple of days, okay, from last week until today. And because of this unrequited love, you know, and the feeling that there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, I really feel like uh, there is a new beginning that is uh, coming for this feminine, okay? There's something that's about to change, good or bad, something is coming. This card can also reflect an intention that was cast to bring forth something into existence. So whatever this is, because of this unrequited love, there's something new that is happening when it comes to the masculine. Whether uh, your masculine is coming or there could be a new beginning with you elsewhere, feminine, okay? That's another thing that I'm also feeling. So let's go ahead and take a deeper look and see. Uh, what is actually going on in the physical life of this collective okay so let me go ahead and pull hmm, this card uh, curled over spirit please reveal to me it's the friend card okay so I just have to be mindful of that Okay, I think I fixed it. Dear Spirit, please reveal to me what is uh, the current overall energies of this masculine and their 3D physical life. Please reveal to me what is currently going on in their physical life. Please reveal to me what is currently going on with this divine masculine's physical life. What is uh, going on with this masculine? Thank you. money so they could be in the money okay they could be looking at their finances for today yeah i feel like they're all in the business so they're busy at work okay guys so that's what's going on with masculines on a monday okay now for some of you uh if you're in the other side of the world um this could be tuesday for y'all okay you know masculines they feel stuck they feel trapped because of this financial situation or obligation that they're in and um, I feel like um, their ego and pride is in the way. I feel like because this masculine chose uh, to go into a different path, uh, they're suffering from the repercussions of this, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting. And I see that this masculine is trying to release their ego. 
because they're feeling sorrowful. This masculine doesn't feel good because I feel like after this masculine has gotten out of a karmic situation, very soon this masculine is wanting to approach you. Perhaps this masculine has uh, procrastinated too long to really come forward because they were learning to heal themselves uh, or because of uh, this a financial duty or obligation that they have, okay? Because they really focus on their uh, material situation. And I see here an old woman. This masculine is stuck here with an older woman. Okay, now this could be a karmic uh, romantic interest or it could be uh, because of an elder. Okay, this could be a mom or a mom-in-law or a, someone who is older, you know, um, than this particular masculine. Because of this older woman, they had to let down their pride. And they feel stuck because of this because I feel like this older woman um, can put a, a number over your masculine to where it makes them feel guilty for wanting them to do you know to break off the path of what uh, they were currently fixed in okay and I see that uh, this masculine is learning patience you know also what I'm feeling is that they're trying to be patient with this older woman and that's why they're sad because it's taking a long time uh, for them to uh, come out of this a situation so that they could really make moves and come forward towards you feminine that's what I'm saying I really feel like the hold up uh, for this collective is that there is an older woman um, in this masculine's life that is holding them back and honestly it feels like a mother figure or or someone who they've known for some time that that you know if they were to break away from this older woman uh it's gonna take a lot because i feel like financially they're tied into this person some way or somehow and they're learning to practice this patience but because of it guys they they're they're just not feeling too good because more than anything i feel like this masculine wants to break away from this karmic situation yeah and i see her a messenger so wow guys okay so i feel like there is um a message hold on one second and whoever called i have no idea who it was that was so strange. It was a local number. And usually local people don't call me. <laughs> Anyways, there's a messenger. That could have been the phone call. Like, who the hell just called me? That was so strange. I don't know. So, there is a message that is being, or, you know, exchanged between this older woman. Okay. And this could also be you, feminine. This masculine is learning to be patient to send you a message, but because of this older woman, they feel stuck. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this masculine is a reliance on uh, this person for finances. That's what I'm feeling, okay? So, feminines, what is currently going on with you? What is currently going on with your situation? Because we have here, you deserve love. The angels are working with you. I definitely see that because I saw the feather and when if you guys have been following me on my channel the very first time I had picked up this feather was a, like a message okay I forgot what video it was it was a, a long time ago and um, I found three I think three feathers right I found three feathers, white feathers in one day as I was walking out and I channeled the same message, okay, about having a white feather cross your path and it's now showing up in today's reading. So it's very uh, peculiar, okay. There is a new beginning here and I feel like Source or Universe is manifesting a miracle for this Divine Feminine Collective. And I feel like it happened after this unrequited love situation. So let's see. We have fortune. So feminines, okay, you're in your abundance, okay? So guys, okay, if you played the lotto from last week, let me know if you want, right? 
I see that. And now you're being of service. Why? Because you have money coming forward towards you. I feel like, Feminines, there's so much abundance that uh, that is flowing towards you that all you have is to give. And that's your karma, right? As you, you are being of service, you know, you're actually uh, becoming more fortunate is what I'm feeling. You know, masculines, um, they're, they're focused on their money, but I feel like um, they're the way that they're obtaining this is a little bit more difficult because I feel like um, they're codependent on an older woman for this uh, financial situation here, okay? Well, feminines, we have wedding. You're fortunate because there was um, a get-together. For some of you feminines, uh, you could be coming into union with your masculine, and your masculine is offering you this new beginning after a period of this unrequited love. That is really beautiful. I feel like Cupid, okay, um, is actually working its magic. Why? Because there is a foe. Damn. I really feel like uh, this is a karmic <clears throat> that had married, okay, um, your masculine. This foe had interfered uh, because of a wedding situation. I had a dream about that last night. My masculine actually came to me in my dream and told me the reason why he did something. That's so weird. And it's a surprise. You're surprised, feminines that you were right about your intuition about this uh, karmic that interfered, okay? This uh, karmic perhaps married your masculine, okay? But at the same token, guys, I mean, some of you might get a surprise. You might win $6,000, I get you not. There's something that you're, you're gaining from this, my friends. You're, you're, you're reaping in the abundance, right? It's a big shock. Look at that. Look at all the fortune that this feminine is receiving because uh, this karmic decided to marry your masculine, right? Or stay in a relationship with your masculine and you felt like a certain way, feminines, of this unrequited love. But there's a new beginning here. It's going to surprise you because I really feel like it, this masculine has turned their back away from this karmic because this masculine realized that the karmic was fake. Yeah, they're in control of the situation. So, feminines, I feel that even if you know that uh, masculines uh, decided to stay stuck in the karmic relationship, you're in control of the situation dealing with the karmic and, you know, whatever, um, you know, uh, relationship that they're having with your masculine. Wow, we have here a soldier. Feminines, y'all are going to be dating. Perhaps some of your masculines is a soldier or a warrior, okay? Who likes to protect and defend. Oh, wow, and I see your friends, okay? So if you're French, okay, that could be resonant with you. And that this color seems peculiar. It could be uh, Italy, okay? Uh, your masculine could also be Italian, from what I can see. Whoever this is, uh, this is a, a, for, a foreign person that is uh, protecting you, you, is what I'm feeling. This uh, person is here to protect you, feminine, and you're surprised because it's the end. Something ended with this player. That's very strange. There's an ending with a playboy energy. It could be with a soldier, okay? And uh, this soldier could have been the controlling type. Hence, in the beginning of the reading, okay, I saw here uh, forgiving and learning as you release and heal 
of the past, you experience more love in your present moment. And this masculine feels that there is this unique balance. This masculine was trying to be dominant over you, feminine, okay? And you as being submissive. There is a special unique balance of give and take. Finally, there is balance in the connection. And feminines, you're putting an end to uh, the masculine coming in and out. Because I feel like this masculine was married. And I feel like feminines, you said, no, I, I can't deal with this anymore. And you're surprised that the masculine is ending it. That's what I'm seeing. Or perhaps feminines. You're surprised that you're able to end this karmic cycle with your masculine because you deserve love and you're being divinely guided and protected by the Holy Spirit or the angels. That there is um, great fortune for you for standing in your integrity by not being a, a karmic um, situation in a karmic partnership that your masculine is involved in. That's what I'm feeling, guys. Wow. Let me go ahead and see what else. Spirit, uh, what is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine, please? How are they currently thinking of you? How are they feeling? What is it that they want? What do they want to do about this situation? What is their challenge? And what is the outcome? Thank you. There's a change in transformation that I'm feeling here with this uh, collective. Wow. We have here four cops. This masculine is feeling meh. Like, they're feeling like, um... They don't. They don't know what to do. They didn't. They didn't take your offer and your connection. And you know they're looking at the third party. They're in between, right? They don't know what to do. That's what I'm seeing. And yeah, this masculine is like getting over the the karmic situation. They're healing right now. Okay, guys. You know that's why this masculine very soon, okay, is going to look at the differences between you, okay? Whatever that they have imagined, um, they're trying to pay attention to how you make them feel rather than how you look on the outside towards the masculine. That's what I'm feeling because right now, you know, it's about money. They're stuck in, in a karmic situation here with an older woman, okay? This is a person that calls the shots. That's the feeling that I'm getting, okay? And... They want to be with you, feminine. This masculine is all in their feelings. So I feel like masculines is, you know, uh, trying to balance out their uh, feminine and masculine energies by becoming more emotional. That's what I'm seeing. And they want to offer you a brand new beginning in the physical, guys, okay? And they want to get out of their head about being stuck, being iced up because everybody is looking at your divine counterpart. They're looking at, you know, their every move from what I can feel. And this masculine is tired of, of feeling trapped in this way, of feeling watched, you know. And I also see that this masculine is releasing whatever that they have been holding on to over this third party situation, this heartbreak, this pain. You know, this masculine is finally, like, trying to let go of this third-party situation and, yeah, and end it. Uh, for some of these masculines, they could have been tied in to uh, a marriage, okay? And if they were married, they're getting a divorce. They're getting out uh, of this karmic energy. You know, if your masculine was in a commitment of some sort, then this could be work-related. I feel like they're releasing themselves also in this way. And they're, they're walking away from, from the situation. It, it's not really fulfilling this particular masculine. And they realize that there's no closure. And they need to kind of close the gap. 
That's the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like feminines, you know, you haven't seen your masculine for some time. And I feel like masculine is in realization of this. You know, they, they've been fighting themselves. You know, they're in their minds about uh, the connection. And now this masculine is, you know, trying to write the pros and cons about, like, um, you know, coming back. Because they're trying to figure out very soon, clearly decide what is it that they want so that it comes to them now. They're, they're writing it down. They're meditating. They're thinking, you know. If I were to offer my feminine my pentacle, you know, is this, uh, you know, something that is a good investment? That is the feel I'm getting because everything that they have done in the past hasn't worked out. They feel stuck. And their pride and ego has, has been uh, pushed to the wayside. And they're really sad because whoever this older woman is, Man, they, they put a number on your mask, on, okay? They make your mask and feel bad, you know, for the decisions that they've made is what I'm getting. And they, they see that you have been very patient, and that's why they're sad. They're like, you know, feminine, you deserve love. You are lovable, you know. But this mask finally realizes that even though that, you know, your outside appearance is different than what they're used to or what they're attracted to. It's your energy that they just can't release and let go. They realize that there is like some unfinished symphony is what I'm getting with this unique balance. That's what I'm saying. It's like you guys make beautiful music through this, this pain. That's the feeling I'm getting, and I feel like masculine is wanting to uh, forgive and learn from this experience when it comes to you, feminine. That's what I'm seeing, guys. This is a lot deeper than what I thought. You know, this masculine, yeah, there, uh, there will be a display of a non-traditional balance between two people where one feels submissive and the other as dominant. Now, now that you guys are vibrating in a very similar frequency, I really feel like uh, there is a situation of equal exchange of give and take is what I'm feeling. And this masculine is planning for the future, okay? They're waiting for the right moment. For some of you, okay, it could be three weeks, okay? That's what I'm seeing. But it's been about a year, so it's been a long time coming for this collective. That's what I'm seeing. So masculine is really reflecting and really looking at the situation ship a little bit more deeper from what I can feel. So how do they think? We have here five of swords, but it's in reverse. This masculine is thinking that they need to get out of feeling selfish, of feeling like they need to win um, the situation. They need to be more submissive. There has to be a unique balance. Not like, you know, over uh, dominant, okay, over a situation where they feel like they have to be a winner all the time. Because this masculine definitely does not feel this way. And they realize that for, for perfect harmony and balance, there has to be that yin-yang. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like now this masculine gets the flow, right? So how do they feel? We have seven of cups in reverse. So this masculine feels like it's time to make a decision. It's time, very soon. Very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want, masculine, okay? Like, use your feelings, your intuition, when it comes to your feminine, not how they look is what I'm getting. That's why there's like this beauty and the beast. Someone here feels like a beast and someone here feels like a beauty. You know, take it however it resonates. But that's how the masculine feels that you guys are two different people. And on the outside, it looks bizarre, right? But deep down inside, they feel the spark. And the external does not always reflect what they internalize. And they look for those hidden treasures. Wow. This masculine definitely wants you in their arms. They, they want to touch you. 
is what I'm feeling. I, I'm still getting that vibration from the masculine collective. So what is it that they want? I feel like uh, they they want to close the gap here, okay? They want to be a little bit more patient, but they know that they're running out of time. They feel that you know they've invested into a situation that is not fulfilling, and it didn't work out. That's what I'm feeling. And I really feel like, you know, they could be comparing you towards a karmic situation because I do see here a foe that married uh, the masculine, okay? And they could have had a baby, okay? I'm just going to say that. But his baby wasn't theirs. That's what I'm getting. That's why the bed is empty. Do you see that there's a new beginning here with this feminine and she looks pregnant? Now, this, this can have many meanings for many different people because this is a general reading. For, for one thing that I'm feeling is that feminines, okay, there is a new beginning here because you are pregnant, okay? For another one, okay, this masculine um, is with a karmic that is pregnant. And that's why there's an unrequited love situation. Masculine, you know, is thinking they have to uh, fulfill a duty or obligation because they got someone knocked up. But I'm really seeing that this masculine, okay, whatever situationship that they're in, it, it was empty. And they, they wish that they could get out of this situation. That's what I'm seeing. I feel like this masculine realized, you know, if they were birthing something new, it, it didn't come into fruition. Now, this masculine wants to have a new beginning. And I feel like that's more or less your energy because this is your energy f towards the masculine feminines. You want to birth something new with the masculine. Masculine wants to finally put in the balance. And that's really beautiful, guys. I really feel like this is a karmic energy that they explored in the past and it didn't pan out. Okay? It, w it didn't turn out to be happy. That's what I'm seeing. That's why there's a hold up with this masculine dealing with an older woman because now this older woman has expectations because they have helped your masculine financially. That's what I'm seeing, guys, okay? So what is the actions? We have here Ten of Swords and Reverse. Masculines, um, they have ended the connection with you. So they're still in this ending. This has already happened. So this is still going on. You know, right now, I'm not seeing any kind of resolution. But I see here a future energy very soon. This masculine is going to uh, really look at the differences between you and them. Okay? And use their discernment to make a decision to forgive and learn um, their situationship with them and also with you so that they can bring harmony and balance and restore that in uh, the connection between you two because feminines uh, you feel like you are in an unrequited love situation but there's a new beginning here that I'm seeing because Cupid is on your side you're being a uh, divinely protected and guided do you see that you deserve love and so uh, Cupid is working for you, feminine. Okay, very soon you're going to have a new beginning because you are in this unrequited love situation where the masculine left you for a karmic, okay, for a fake karmic. And this is coming to light. That's why you're reaping this abundance, okay? It's a surprise. You're, you're, you're surprised. That masculine was in control of their feelings over this ending. But you're going to get a return. So what is the, the challenge? The challenge is for this masculine to take action and come forward towards you as this king of wands. Okay, that's what I'm saying. And what is the outcome? We have four of wands in reverse. So masculine is ending a situationship with a marriage. That's what I'm saying, guys. Okay. And I really feel like this is the karmic because I see it in the underlying energy for the feminine side. Uh, and also, this masculine felt stuck. They felt stuck because of a, an older feminine energy. That's what I'm seeing. You know, and this older woman, it also could be you, feminine. Okay, if you're older than your masculine, you know, they feel stuck, you know, and they let their pride and ego get in the way.
but they realize that you have been very patient and because of that they're sad and I feel like this masculine is finally wanting to give you a message that the reason why they're staying stuck is because of money down that's what I'm saying this masculine needs a little bit of time though but guys feminines okay spirit and the holy angels have your back is what I'm seeing okay so let's go ahead and see feminines what is your energy towards the masculine how are you thinking How are you feeling? What is it that you want? What do you want to do about this situation? What is the challenge? And what is the outcome? Thank you, sir. Feminine, do you want to get out of this, you know, separation from your masculine? You you had enough time to really think about it. You're just depressed, you know. You're in this unrequited love situation. You want to have a new beginning. That's the feel I'm getting. And, you know, you feel stuck in the past. You can't move on. And you're trying to find the strength to do this. I also see that you're getting over the karmic situation and I also see that you know it's really weighing heavy on you you're like how much longer is this going to take how much strength do I need to endure you know so that I can offer a commitment towards my masculine and you're trying to use your intuition okay feminines about the situation about you being single and you know being independent or whatnot and i feel like you want to offer your masculine another chance possibly you're judging your masculine that you know maybe um they don't have what it takes to go through an ending with the karmic so they can be with you you know because i feel like you know from my it feels like an unrequited love situation how masculines aren't putting an end towards the karmic okay and that's why there's no movement forward and you know you're really uh guarded about the situation and i see that you know you want to work you want to work it out that's what i'm seeing and you're not feeling good you know so feminines you know i i see where you're coming from you're not receiving the clarity that you're looking for and you know you want your mask to come forward you know that's the masculine's challenge and you feel like there's still some karmic situation that still needs to end before you guys could actually you know come together that's what i'm feeling so if i manage you're feeling a certain way you're like accepting what is you know you realize that masculine uh, decided to stay stuck in a karmic situation and you're surprised that your masculine is actually putting an end to it and here i saw that you know feminines you're like uh when but i see that in the end they will okay so just give it some time okay so how are you thinking we have queen of wands feminines you feel like it's not time to pursue anything towards the masculine that's what i'm saying so how do you feel you feel like uh, you want to be with your masculine in the physical masculines i feel like you know they know it's time to make a decision you you feel like uh, masculine should approach you right so what is it that you want you want to get out of your head you don't want to stress about the situation anymore so what are your actions towards masculine you have hope okay so you're you're wishing that masculines can have the strength to go through this change and transformation so that they can reach out and connect with you okay so uh what hold on let's see here what is your challenge? Your challenge is to get out of being a distorted feminine. Damn. You know, feminines, uh, what did I say last week? You know, just did, uh, sit on that stomp and just, just be pretty, right? Uh, Y'all are not. I feel like you don't want to create anything new, but I see that you want a new beginning. 
So feminines, okay, the power of manifestation is to know exactly what you want and stick with it. Don't be wishy-washy. Like one minute, you're like, oh, I want a new beginning. And then the next year, you're like, no, fuck them. <laughs> you have to um, know what it is that you want so you can manifest, okay? And for some of you guys have been waiting very patiently, very long for your mask on to reach out. And I definitely see that very soon they will. So what is the outcome? We have uh, a reconciliation. Feminines, uh, what I'm seeing is that within three months, okay, you guys will get together. You know, I just feel like if if you haven't been for your mask on this whole time and you steered off the course, it, it could, there is a delay. But also, I feel like for this mask on, they're stuck in a karmic situation. So, you know, if they're stuck in a situation, like what, what other option do you have? And that's what I'm seeing. But, you know, I definitely see that there is a new beginning here for this feminine. Okay, you guys uh, are going to uh, get together because mask on is going to end this karmic situation. I feel like within a month. And within three months, you guys are going to be happy. But it's going to take some time. Very soon, this masculine is going to realize who you are. Okay. Uh, for some, they could extend an offer. But that's a few of them. Okay. Not all of them are going to be like this. But this is more of a realization more than anything. So that's what I'm seeing, guys. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull uh, a closing guidance message here for the collective. Okay, and for today, let's do this yogic deck. Dear Spirit, what is the closing guidance message for this collective? So, if this reading is resonating with you, let me know in the comment section below and uh, this is your advice okay or something to consider if this is your situation and guys I forgot today is Monday and uh, this is lawn care day but I think I'm recording this uh, a little bit earlier than normal so that's actually a good thing Kundalini wow and guys okay if you guys haven't already um, I took Mary Jo's course in her Kundalini Yoga, um, but if if you know if you feel like you know there's another person uh, that you know could offer the Kundalini Yoga, go ahead and take it. It's actually really uh, powerful, and um, basically you know you sit in um, either lotus or a comfortable uh, position because not everyone is bendy, right? But you could uh, do your hips like this, okay, and get the kundalini, right? But you have to like put, uh, push your chest out, okay, with your heart chakra, okay, and work that kundalini, right? And do that. And, you know, you could uh, reverse and, and get the get your sacral chakra down to your root like moving right that that's how you awaken your uh kundalini um you know with them guys you know check it out so let's go ahead and read what that's about <laughs> number 79 Primordial cosmic energy, serpent power. Kundalini is rising, the serpent-like energy that exists in the base of your spine. The Muladhara chakra has awoken. You may have noticed that you feel more spiritually aware than before. 
You are more sensitive to energies and quickly manifesting your thoughts. Your psychic abilities are rising and you feel the flow of energy that vibrates in every being. Your heart is full of a deep compassion and desire to serve others and you have a keen awareness of your purpose. This is Kundalini rising. Stay grounded in the process, connect to nature, exercise, journal, practice yoga. Through grounding, you'll be able to experience a beautiful and blissful Kundalini awakening that takes you exactly where you're meant to be. Guys, that is beautiful. Now, there has been a series of events that's been happening with me personally, um, you know, since I had the karmic clearing with Mary Jo. And she had cleared uh, some, some karma between uh, me and my divine masculine. And uh, since then, you know, I did at the Kundalini Yoga, okay? And then fast forward towards another week, okay, uh, I've learned uh, the, the psychokinesis, okay? Which is like uh, the power of the mind. Now, guys... For the psychokinesis, you have to be a really great meditator, okay? I've been meditating for years, so um, for some of you, if you guys try to do the similar experiment, you know, don't don't be disgruntled if it doesn't work out for you, okay? <laughs> Practice is makes perfect. Um, it takes time, just like meditation. And as I have mentioned to you, if you have been following me on my channel for some time, you know, put put some time aside uh, for meditation as a part of your daily regimen as like, you know, like food to eat, you know, make sure that you at least incorporate five minutes a day if you can and increase the dose, right? Because meditation is medicine, you know, honestly, you know, if, if everyone would meditate, you would actually uh, get out of uh, states of fear, out of doubt, out of worry, insecurity, and learn more about self-love. You know, meditation is, is really, like, I feel the antidote for a lot of things, you know. So, here is the reverse. Within your spine lies an energy more powerful than you've ever experienced. This energy will help everything make sense, releasing delusion and putting you on the path towards your dharma. However, the kundalini awakening is not always easy. Sometimes shadow aspects of yourself show up, often mirrored in those around you. What is it that you need to look deeper within yourself? How can you anchor further into your truth? Allow the right ripening open of the kundalini experience as it shatters all disillusion, leaving space for the truth to unfold. Take each obstacle as a sacred lesson that can bring you closer to your higher self. Guys, this is beautiful. And I feel like, you know, this is for uh, for both divine masculines and feminines by this forgiving and learning. Okay, by taking the time to do like a, maybe this kundalini yoga or a sense of meditation. And that's what I have for you guys, okay? So I really hope that uh, this reading was helpful. Let me know what you think. And thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at...